All right, Matt, in our co-main event, our second of three title fights, you've got the light heavyweight title on the line between the champ, Tomas Giraffe Narkun, taking on Prezemislav Misiala. And if you look at Misiela, he competed in one of the most recent, actually the most recent season of the Ultimate Fighter, season 27. It was a loss to Maurice Green, who's in the UFC now. Pretty but funny. for Misiela, if you look at his pro career, six wins in a row out of his total career. I mean, he's got 10 wins by knockout or TKO, 12 wins by submission. He's a finishing machine, kind of later on in his career at the age of 37. And he's taken on a wrecking ball in Tomas Narkun. And Matt... I know his last fight didn't go well. He tried to attain champ champ status, but Tomash Narkun, man, he's a force to be right. Oh, he's with. legit without a doubt. It just it's kind of weird because he hasn't fought a real light heavyweight in quite some time. I mean, he fought Mama Kalidov, who, if you follow KSW, he's one of the biggest stars retired now. And then he jumped up, who was pretty much a middleweight coming up to light heavyweight. And then after beating him twice in two amazing fights, by the way, he moved up to fight Phil DeFreeze, and that didn't go his way. But it's just it's been a while since he kind of seen him fight a guy close to his own size because Phil DeFreeze did have quite the size and jiu jitsu advantage in that fight. Now. It's definitely going to be an interesting fight, but I do feel like Narcoon fighting anyone who's not that much bigger than him in KSW, he's probably going to beat them. I mean, he's a big power puncher. He's phenomenal on the ground. He beat Kaladov with a triangle choke. And there's really not a whole lot of massive weaknesses in his game. And if you look at a guy like Misiala, I mean, when he weighed in for heavyweight and when he's fought at heavyweight in the past, he's one of those guys that weighs in right around 225, yeah. the cruiserweight limit. So he might not have a huge size advantage. Really looking forward to this fight. Either guy has finishing abilities. The odds are sliding the way of Narkun in this one. Again, I think he's one of those guys that maybe if he's able to get some big wins, he becomes a free agent, which I don't think it'll ever happen because... Tomas Narkun is one of the he's, the he's one of the biggest stars, and listen, everybody understands it. I know this fight card's in Great Britain, but listen, Narkun's such a big Polish he star. KSW is such a force in Poland. We probably won't ever see him in the UFC, but I would love to if we could get it. It would be nice. Who are you taking in this fight? I'm definitely taking Narkun, and possibly in the future, we might be able to get some cross promotion with a Bellator and KSW. Who knows? But yeah, I'm taking Narkun either by TKO or decision. Love to see Narkun maybe in a rising boat as well That'd if we could great. get this cross Never promotion going. But yeah, I'm gonna take Narcoon as well really looking forward to it Matt we still have DeFreeze in a really really tough fight against Luis Enrique it's in the main event Matt looking forward to it fight night picks KSW two minute breakdowns let's get